everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. Hopefully you guys have had a fantastic day. I'm finally back from my small weekend off. I actually pre-recorded a couple episodes before this one. And basically guys, the fact of the matter is we're sort of back in air quotes up to date with the episode. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had a fantastic weekend. I was uh, hosting my parents for a weekend, which was obviously really, really nice. So yeah, awesome stuffs, my friend. And of course, guys, I just want to begin by saying saying aside from all of that a massive thank you for all of the support in this series we have been consistently hitting near or on 5,000 likes per episode which is absolutely fantastic so guys as always like i say 5,000 likes is the goal for each episode so if we can keep it up with that that would be beautiful now in today's episode we are actually going to begin on woodland town that is right we are finally going to begin on woodland town and i think what we're going to do is we are going to work on one of the cul-de-sacs. I'm thinking maybe the sort of little island cul-de-sac over here. We could probably go ahead and figure out the style of one of the houses and then maybe just time-lapse the rest of the houses because they're all going to be the same sort of style, like the exact same style. So there's a bit of uniformity going on around here. And um, one other thing I might want to try is adding in some more irregular shapes to these houses. I mean, at the moment, they are all square and square houses are easy easy to build and all, but they're not really that interesting, are they? I feel like I could do a lot better than just a bunch of square or rectangular houses. So, we're probably going to amend some of these, uh, you know, spaces that we've got going on here. Maybe have some L-shaped houses, maybe have some other irregular shaped houses. I'm thinking mostly L-shaped houses. So, yeah, it's going to be a great time. The other thing I've done since the last episode is villager trading. There are now 24 villagers. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. We now have 24 villages inside of this place. The maximum amount of villages. The maximum amount of villages we can have around here, which is beautiful. So we've got 12 on each side, and they have all taken the correct. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They've all taken their correct professions. So yeah, we've got four farmers, we've got four stonemasons, eight librarians, we have four clerics, two cartographers, and two butchers. Now, one of the things that has sadly happened since the last episode is I had to kill a couple of the villagers because they had the wrong professions. So, yeah, that's why some of these prices are a bit skyjacked. They're a bit insane. Like, the mending trade is now 33 emeralds as opposed to 14. I'm pretty sure the way of increasing your reputation with these guys is to trade their last slot. According to the Minecraft wiki, that's apparently how you do it. So, yeah. Off camera, we're going to be working on the villagers, trying to get our reputation back and all that kind of stuff. Thankfully, the reputation isn't bad to the point where the iron golems are automatically hostile towards me. Because, yeah, if that was the case, then uh, we'd be in a lot of trouble, my friends. Oh, yes. So, anyways, talking aside, we now have to get over to the island over here. And we need to figure out the style of of these houses but the first thing we're going to do is amend some of the spaces to like i say add some rather more irregular shapes so let's do that first Alrighty, guys, and there we go. We've still got seven houses that are going to be going around here, but they are much more interesting already. We've got a bunch of L-shaped houses, and we've even got, like, a T-shaped house right here. Uh, so, yeah, this should be a pretty good, uh, you know, foundation to get some houses going. So, I think what we'll do is we'll actually start off with the most difficult shape that we've got going on here, the T-shaped house. Uh, also, we should probably put ourselves down a bed real quick so we can sleep around here. And also, we're going to put down some torches on the foundations, rather like this, so it's all lit up. And yeah, guys, we are going to do some building. It's going to be a great time. It's not often I do building on camera with you all. So, let's go ahead and begin by raising up the pillars to all be three blocks tall. I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to be doing, like, overhang roofs here. Because, you know, considering the small amount of gaps we have between the houses, I think if we did that, all of the roofs would wind up connected together. And that is exactly what I do not want to have happen because I think that would look just a little bit strange. So, yeah, uh, we can have ourselves, uh, you know, some windows all over the place. I could probably put one in there. Maybe do a couple like that. Have one there as well. Uh, that can also be a window. And then we could maybe add this in. We'll have a window there. 
Uh huh. And then we're going to have the door there, of course. So let's go ahead and add in the top section here. This is this should be a mostly you know simple kind of design, to be honest with you guys. Something you guys should be able to fairly easily follow along with. Uh, the real question is, do we want to have fence windows or do we want to have actual glass windows? I feel like glass windows would be nice. Considering there's actual glass in the Woodland Mansion, we're trying to go for that kind of style, right? So, I'm going to need to go grab some glass then, huh? Ah, my nemesis. Roofs. I hate doing roofs in Minecraft. I always feel like they take more resources than the actual build themselves. I find them rather annoying, like I say. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and see if we can't get ourselves just a little something something going here. That is the wrong way around. All right, so there we go. Add that in, and then, oh, jeez. We need a few more stairs. I keep telling you, man, we need sawmills in Minecraft. If we've got freaking stone cutters, then I feel like a sawmill would be a very logical addition to the game. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then we're going to start adding in uh, some of the other blocks here. Uh-huh. Should be pretty simple. There we go. Okay, so the actual roof is sorted. But the question is, how does it look? Eh. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, if I'm being entirely honest with you guys. Uh, maybe if I just add in a different type of block here. Now, that actually looks worse. How did I manage that? That looks worse. Hmm. Okay, right, I've got a different idea, in which case maybe we could add ourselves a little bit of an overhang at the front here. I could add a little bit of a shape to this thing. Uh, eh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I can kind of see it working, maybe. Uh, if I was to place down, uh, maybe we put down some normal smooth stone here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. And then we can maybe place down some cobblestone walls. Uh-huh, that could be the entrance. Actually, no, these don't fit. These don't fit the theme at all. <laughs> oh, it looks so bad. Right, boom and boom. What about that? Does that look a little bit better? I think that looks a little bit better. Like I said, I don't really want to do overhang roofs, but I don't really know how to do non-overhang roofs anymore. I'm so used to doing overhang roofs that it's just sort of second nature to me, if you get what I mean. So, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really, really struggling not to do this, like non-overhang roofs, but I think I'm going to have to do it if I'm being entirely honest with you guys. Maybe we're going to have to like rejiggle around where the things go again. Hmm. Yeah, this, th I don't like this. I'm going to be honest. I don't like this. I think overhang roofs are just the best. Otherwise, you just got a flat wall and it just looks ugly. So yeah. All right, we'll give that a go. Alrighty guys, so a slight adaptation to the roof here, and this is looking miles, miles better. It wasn't going to be like a, a full overhang roof, but I think a cobblestone rim has really added to this place quite a lot, actually. I could probably put like lanterns up here, you know? I think lanterns would be a very, very welcome addition to this particular area. Uh, but yeah, we go inside here, we've got ourselves a fairly decent amount of space to be working with for the interior, which is obviously uh, very, very nice. So, how is about we do a little bit of interior design together real quick? Uh, sir, what are you doing on land? You belong in the water, you doofus! I don't even know what that guy's doing. <laughs> what? Why was he on land? Oh, that's like no different from seeing a beached whale. Like, what? Why? Why, why is he there? What is the point? What is his intention? Hmm? It's not going to work out, whatever it is, sir. Right, I tell you what, let's make this place into somewhere that's a little less tall. Maybe this could be like a little bedroom type area. And then obviously we've got the uh, the other question of uh, the floor. Uh, so we need to try and figure that out real quick. I would use logs, but that seems like a bit of an expensive way to go. Uh, we could use stone, maybe even smooth stone on the indoors. I mean, it won't work outside, but maybe it works inside, right? I don't know. It could do. It could not. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I can work with it. I can work with it. I think this is a pretty nice little uh, space to work with. All that's left to do, of course, is put in the door. A door. Boom. There you go. And then there's a path block leading into it. Yeah. All right. Obviously, like I say, we're still going to put a lantern up there. But for now, just so there's light, there is torches. Cool. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this, actually. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, nice one. So we figured out our style here, my friend. So a nice uh, sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? Dark oak pillar corner. And then we've got cobblestone bits all over the place. We've got glass, dark oak, dark oak fences, and then like a little cobblestone rim with a stared roof. So that should be pretty simple to follow, honestly. Uh, so... I guess all that's left to do is do all of the rest of these houses. Uh, I'm probably going to need quite a lot of resources. So I'm going to go out and maybe put a chest or two in here. Like a couple project chests here and there. Okay. And then we should be able to fairly easily get this project going. So let's get you put down here. And yeah, guys, we're going to do this time lapse. Let's bring on our camera account. And let's see about making this uh, little cul-de-sac up and going, huh? Oh, but before doing that, you guys are probably going on in the comments area at me. Uh, yeah, you're quite right. I should probably use slabs instead. It'll make the resources go a lot further in terms of the floor. So yeah, anyways, time lapse time. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, one time lapse later and all of the houses are now installed. All seven of them are now done. We've just got to work on the interiors and of course work on the exterior and get this island little cul-de-sac actually done. We do have ourselves a bridge to do as well, but I think we'll do that in a future episode uh, because for now, I'm kind of excited to work on the actual cul-de-sac itself. Make it look nice, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we should probably begin with a bunch of dirt. That is right, my friends. We need ourselves a bunch of dirt because we need to replace all of the sand with dirt to make it look a little bit more uniform. I could potentially put in a bit of a sand rim around this, but I don't really think it will look that great. Also, there is a shipwreck right down there. Hmm. Might be worth exploring that before the episodes end, just to see if it's been explored or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, for now, my friends, for now, what we're doing is we're just trying to add in some various bits and bobs here and there to make this place look a little bit better, a little bit more realistic, maybe. I know it's Minecraft, but I do still like to add just a tiny bit of realism, a little bit of realistic terrain to the area, if you catch my drift. So yeah, let's go ahead and replace all of the sand with dirt, and we will begin on decorating the land, I guess. Alrighty, folks. So, like I said, I'd like to put down some lanterns up here in these little triangular spaces. And you know what? Yeah. I was right. They work very, very well. So the next thing we're going to do is add in a little bit of a lamppost. I think a lamppost could be a very, very welcome addition around here. Uh, I need to be able to like get on top here. So there we go. Right. So one, two, three. Uh, let's do four blocks up. And then we can have the lantern sort of dangling down, right? So uh, let's get down here. Uh, rid these real quick. And then put the lanterns up. Yeah, okay, that'll light up this area real nice. Okay, and then if we could potentially get some grass to grow around here, we could probably begin on a little bit of a pathway. So let's go ahead and uh, lead. Oh, we need, we actually need like a piece of grass here. So I'm going to go ahead and just siphon a bit off here with my silk touch because I have access to silk touch and it's freaking awesome. All right, so uh, <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And then we can start doing a little bit of this. Try to, you know, link up all of the path things together 
maybe make it look a little bit more organic type thing okay and then we can have like a bit of a ring going around there okay okay i think this is looking pretty decent i think we can work with this we could probably put some leaves and some bone meal on the ground around here make it look just a little bit nicer uh maybe we could add that in as well yeah okay 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 this is epic i can work with this i can work with this real nicely okay so we need bone meal, we need leaves, and potentially some other things as well. We can maybe put like a cobblestone wall pattern around the outside here. Or better still, we could replace the outer edge here with cobblestone. Rather similar to the Lake of Life in Hermitcraft Season 6. I think that could work pretty well. So let's go ahead and give that a go. So once again, we're going to replace all of the outskirts here with cobblestone. I think that could work real nicely. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go for a little bit of a pattern here in that we're going to have wood, leaves, fence, leaves, wood, leaves, fence, leaves, wood. Yeah, and on top of the fences we're going to have ourselves flower pots and then on top of these we're going to have ourselves slabs. I think that would be a pattern that fits in very, very well around here, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and do this thing. Can I do this from like the inside? That would be very much preferred. Although with that said, I kind of have to come on here, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, we're looking pretty freaking sweet if I do say so myself. So, uh, nope, I've just messed that up a little bit. So it's leaves, no. <laughs> leaves, then fence, then leaves, then wood. Hello, Ollie. Oh, yeah, and I decided to bring Ollie along with me as well. Hey there, little broski. You can come along. You can help me put up the fence because why not? you got to love a little bit of, uh, you know, pet moral support. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so uh, that, 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 and that, and then leaves, fence, uh, leaves, and then it would... Uh, okay, doesn't matter. It, the vent, the pattern doesn't perfectly go around, but I think I could work with it. Okay, cool. So, we have ourselves flower pots. We do need ourselves some slabs. So let's just quickly head inside the house real quick. We'll grab some of those. And then we should be able to pretty easily get this thing done. So, uh, like I say, on top of these, we're going to have ourselves flower pots. We'll put some saplings in there, because why not? And then we can start heading around the edge here and adding in some more of the decoration. So, guys, let's go and get this done, and then we'll begin on the inner part of the cul-de-sac in terms of decoration. All right, folks, so that's looking pretty good. All that's left to do now is to decorate the interior area here. So maybe we could have ourselves some more lanterns going on, you know, something like this. We could have these dotted around every now and again. Obviously, we won't need many, considering we have ourselves, you know, uh, that big lamppost right there. So, in fact, to tell you the truth, I think even that would do the job. So, in addition to all of that we're going to add in some uh, random leaves all over the place just to populate the area a little bit maybe we could put some over here seems to be a decent amount of space around here so we could you know add a little bit in here and there can't even get to back there so we'll have to figure that out in just a second here but uh, anyways we could continue doing this okay maybe put one in there all right that's looking pretty good and then we need to go around the outskirts put some more in potentially and then we'll be good to go with the bone meal. We can go ham with the bone meal. In fact, we could do this bit here already. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Going with the woodland mansion kind of style. And honestly, it's looking good, guys. I think this is looking absolutely great. I really, really do. So, boom. A little, little bit in there. Uh, there's a little area back here where we could put maybe another leaf there. And then, yeah, baby, that's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, boom. Yep, another little bit in there. There's a few little just random grass spots all over the place where we could just bone meal it. Uh, but aside from that, guys, I think we're just about good to go with this area. I think we will be more than happy to call this place done. And then once that's the case, we can end off the episode. Yeah. Okay, so a uh, eh, little bit in there. Yep, a little bit in there. There you go. You'll love to see it. Okay, and then we can go back on the inside area and get the rest of it done. So, a little bit in there, a little bit in there. Okay, and just sort of spread the love, I guess. Uh-huh. Pretty simple, huh? Uh, this is so simple. Like, a freaking toddler could decorate this, if I'm being honest with you. It's so simple to just decorate things in Minecraft now. I love it. The fact there's bone meal and all that kind of stuff, it's beautiful. So, 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how this is looking. So, oh, do 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 on the bridge coming down. Do 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 do. This is looking good. Let's eat a piece of pumpkin pie and then let's have a little bit of a roam through here. And it's looking good, isn't it, guys? I mean, honestly, the only thing that's really missing is trees, but I don't think we can physically put any trees in here. There's not enough space. So, honestly, this is good. This is really, really good. Let's have a look at it from a little bit of a distance. Yeah. It looks like a really cozy cul-de-sac. Or just like a nice little island out in the distance. Huh? I feel like we should come up with names for each of these little cul-de-sacs. Like, like street names, if you will. Just like in real life. Like, this could be a street, you know, coming off of this uh, main street here. You know, going all the way back there. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I think you guys should come up with a name for this little cul-de-sac over here. Huh? This little island cul-de-sac of amazingness within Woodland Town. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Right, Ollie, if you could get back on land, then you could probably just TP to me there, sir. You doofus dumbo face. But for that, my friends, I think I am happy to call that little project done for today. So let's head back to the Woodland Mansion and let's grab the comment question of the video. Hello there, Spike. How are you doing? So Zoe Curtin says, I get so excited when, when I get the notification. Hey, that's awesome. And that kind of reminds me, if you guys haven't dinged that bell already, you guys probably should, because then you would get notifications for when these episodes come out. Uh, I think you should put a door on the mansion. It's so simple. That is like the simplest idea I've ever heard. And the fact that I haven't done that yet is rather a mystery to me. So yeah, let's go and do that right now, actually. We should we should have done this like so, so early on. We really, really should have. But, you know, I'm a bit stupid sometimes. So you'll have to forgive me. Uh-huh. We could probably put a little bit of cobblestone there. Oh, I don't have any cobblestone anymore. I left it all at the other place. Uh-huh. All right. Well, dark oak it is. Okay. So, boom, 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 boom. And Ollie, you need to get over there, my good sir. There you go. And then fill that in. And then buttons. Got to love the buttons. Hmm. I could probably make this look a little bit better, though. If I was to go ahead and add a little bit of this... Oh, that's not right. Boom. A little bit of this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think I could make this look pretty cool. Okay. And then if I actually get rid of that button and then place it underneath, it will still work. Yeah. Cool. All right. We could probably do the same on the inside. But for now, my friends, we are going to end off the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, as always, a like rating would go a long, long way. I'd very much appreciate it. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video massively. It truly does, my friends. Hit the subscribe button. And like I said, don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future Minecraft content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to bid you farewell. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode